Bibi's house. This evening, we've been wondering about the stars as they shine through the night. They twinkle and sparkle with the brightest light. We'll see them all tomorrow at the end of the day. But for now, a bedtime story is just moments away. Night, night. night. CBB's Bedtime Story. Hiya. My name's Pearl, and these are my flamingo friends, Florence and Flynn. Our story tonight is all about a lovely lion who lives with some flamingos. It's called Pink Lion, and it's by Jane Porter. Arnold's life was just right. His family loved him. They ate the nicest food. And every day, they played games down at the waterhole. One day, a growling gang bounced by. It's a pink lion, they said, living with a lot of birds. What's he doing here? He's supposed to be part of our family. I'm a lion, asked Arnold, puzzled. Yes. Look at your face in the water, said one of the lions. It was true. They did look alike. They had the same curly hair and whiskers. Could they really be related? Come along with us, said the lions. You should be out roaring and hunting. Arnold thought perhaps he should give it a try. This is how we hunt said the lions, and off they raced. Arnold wasn't sure he could run that fast. Next, some washing, said the lions. It's easy. Just stick out your tongue and lick. Arnold wasn't used to the furry taste, and he wished he had his soap and sponge. Being a lion was very different from life at home. Now, let's roar, said the lions. All you do is open wide and let it out. Roar! 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 Squawk, said Arnold. I'm sorry, he said. You've been very kind, but I just can't do it. I'm not a proper lion. I think I'll go back to my family now. But when he got home, something terrible had happened. A very nasty crocodile had moved in. <laughs> Excuse me, said Arnold. This is our waterhole. Hmm, not anymore, said the crocodile. It's time you and your feathery friends moved on. I live here now. <laughs> Arnold didn't know what to say. He looked at the sky. He looked at the ground. And then a strange feeling like a hairy ball rose up from deep inside him and burst out of his mouth with a mighty roar. <laughs> The other lions heard Arnold calling. Together, they chased that crocodile until he wished he'd never seen the waterhole. Roar! And Arnold's roar was the loudest and fiercest of all. After that, life for Arnold went back to being just right again. And bath time with his new cousins was more fun than ever. Ah, that story was pretty rawsome, wasn't it? But now, I think you should be lying down in bed and drifting off to sleep. Lying down, eh? <laughs> Never mind. Sweet dreams. Good night. The time has come to say good night, to say sleep tight till the morning. Time has come to say good night. It's the end of a lovely day. The time has come to say good night, to say sleep tight till the morning.
over love